How do you keep playing if it's so bad? Because I have a champion's mentality. I see the light at the end of the tunnel. And the pavement is paved with broken glass and it's painful. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. It doesn't feel good. But the destination is worth the journey. Do you think the best athletes in the world reach the top of their game easily? No, they don't. They go through turbulent journeys as well, ups and downs. Probably not as boring as exposing yourself to Lord of the Rings Gollum, but nonetheless, in order to achieve greatness, you must persevere through the garbage. And that's what I'm doing with Gollum. Let this be an inspiration to all of you out there. If I can beat Gollum, you can do anything you set your mind to. What's the reward, though? The relief that I'll never have to touch it again. And the satisfaction in knowing that I did it. That I saw those credits roll. Find a way to talk to the blind elf. We could just keep talking. We don't talk so She's trapped in a cell. We can just keep talking at her. Alright, I'll find a way. By yelling. It's speaking parcel tongue. And that does sound like moaning Myrtle. This is some Harry Potter shit now. Okay, so by drinking the water from the shell, she basically implanted Neuralink. That's big. She's directly beaming her voice into me now. Interesting posture, what the fuck is that? <laughs> That's unique even for Gollum. Does anything happen in this game or is it just a walking simulator? This is a this is a different kind of level. Usually it's you know non-stop action-packed platforming and chores, but this time it's mainly just dialogue to dialogue. Oh. Let me handle it. Ah, they can't get under the table. They know I'm here, but they're too stiff to bend down and drag me out. Outsmarted yet again! What is this, a half pipe? Was Gwyndil a huge skater or something? Where is the attic? How do I get up to it? That up there is worthless. If, if, if I hit my head on that fucking thing one more time, I'm gonna scream. Or, well, actually, I'm gonna have a conniption. Why didn't you jump? Why, why, why? Why would you even give me the option to come back later? What what else would I possibly do? That's insulting that it would even let me go back and think about it. There is nothing to do. What do we do? Throttle Gandalf. That would be huge if I could throttle Gandalf. Oh my god. Okay, the other guy saw me. I'm stuck. If I have to go through that whole conversation, I'm actually gonna fucking scream. I'm actually gonna- Oh, thank god. Oh, Gandalf! What did- I, Didn't he just get kicked out? Why is he just walking around? Oh, that spawned me, like, right by the door. How convenient. Cool mask. Am I not supposed to, like, how, it's pointing me up there, but there's no, what? How do I get up there? Do I have to, like, go even further around? 
There's no way this somehow leads to the marker back there. There's no fucking shot. Oh, okay. Well, it changed anyway, so. We're at the gate. Why, why did it lead me here? I can't do anything here. What, what, what am I doing? I can't swim upstream. There's nothing, there's actually nothing here. What do you want from me? What do you want from me? You need to restart the level. I watched this game, I watched this glitch happen to Dan's game. Like restart the whole level? No shot. No shot. There's absolutely no fucking shot. There, there must have been like a cutscene or something that's supposed to play. You missed some invisible checkpoints so it won't trigger. I just don't believe that. Okay, what's supposed to happen here? Oh, that's very concerning. So there's supposed to be a cutscene that plays here that I am not getting. Okay, let me try backtracking. Well, maybe this game will never be speedrun viable if you can't sequence break. Which I did unintentionally. Alright, here's hoping I fix the game. We'll see. I'm going to be extremely upset if this cutscene doesn't activate. Oh! Just grab it. Look, the glues don't go. I understand the level broke, but I'm trying to fix it. I went back. I did the objective. So the cutscene should load. There's no reason why it won't now, or it shouldn't now. I hit the checkpoint. No way they saw me. No way they saw me. Don't fucking do it. Don't you dare shoot me. I'll scream. Thank you. Please fucking work. Oh my god, please work. Where does restart level take me? I'm pretty confident restart level is going to take me back to the beginning of chapter 8. So over about an hour and a half. But what if I just believe in a little bit of that Middle Earth magic? Maybe it'll start me over from the uh, Gandalf conversation. Oh, that's huge. Oh, thank god. Okay. This isn't nearly as catastrophic as I thought. Oh, that's so big. Thanks for you said Picky and Faust. Okay. That's actually wonderful. This isn't far at all. Oh, I don't think she said that last time. They definitely know we're here, Gollum. They're, I have a very strong suspicion that they know we're here. Oh, let's go. Okay, we're we're good. We're good. Uh, I don't know what broke it the first time around, but we did it. We're fixed. We're back on track. Don't take our hand. Don't touch me. I can follow your breath. Man, even she knows Gollum's ugly as shit. How does it move? Memories are nice. We don't want them, do we, love? Why? Memories are all I have. I didn't ask. Can you just open the door? Oh my god, thank you. Smeagol, my friend. What do you mean, my friend? You, you just keep insulting me. You just keep insulting me. And you are using me. 
Oh, don't, Smeagol. Oh, God, no. Oh, oh, God. Now he's about to subscribe to the OnlyFans and start sending DMs. Okay. I really don't want to go on this little scavenger hunt to get Mel food. Can we just focus on the mission, please, Smeagol? Found an egg. You can believe that. Here's your food. One egg. Very well. This one's easy. You How hungry is she? I gave her an egg. All this for some goddamn eggs. The chores never end, Mel, please. So is it that way? Must be. Hello, Io. I know, I'm playing the I'm playing the Lord of the Rings Gollum game again. I know. I just wanna beat it. I know. It's embarrassing. I have to beat it. I know. It's unhealthy. But if someone's gotta do it, it might as well be me. I don't know what even happened, man. I, he must have twisted his ankle, I guess. A fatal ankle sprain? Poison ivy. Oh, yeah. He must have hit some poison ivy. Insta killed him. I believe somehow he saw me. Protected me. Come, the gate is not far now. Didn't protect us. Why, why would he protect us, Gollum? We're not a fucking elf, and we don't even believe in him. He's like Santa Claus to us. What are you talking about? Yeah, elf with the staff. The elf with the staff must have fled from this stone. Well, this is gonna be tedious. I'd have to do this all six times. That's right. Three women and three women. Can't wait for the sequel where we have to do something similar. Sixty-three elves stood around here, and now I don't remember their order. Listen to their memories and put if each I one in place. How it all happened. The round first. Maybe now focus. Can you follow their echoes? Yeah, I already found it. Just guess, precious. Look around. Oh my god, I found it. It's the the goofball with the knife goes here. More broken things. Looks like a knife. I'm not I'm not I'm not Oh my god. This is the this is the worst one by far. It's actually just wandering around aimlessly collecting fucking clues. I have explored every goddamn inch of this place. I have there are 6 stones. I have collected 6 clues, but for some reason 3 of them are not usable. Like she doesn't like those. Where are the other 3 clues? I just don't understand. Why is this even in the game? This is the fucking worst possible objective. It is actual just wandlessly or er, aimlessly wandering looking for fucking clues and then when you find them she's like, "Ah, we all carried a knife. That doesn't mean anything." Uh, arrows? Yeah, we all had arrows. Oh, blood? That could be anybody. There's the boots again. Oh, you're ignoring the main mechanic that the cavern had. The echoes, if you follow the voice, look around to match them to their stone, it'll be easy. No, man! They don't identify the actual items. The reason these echoes are here is because I've already fucking found the items. Look, they don't glow. The important stuff doesn't glow. You still have to randomly fucking stumble upon it, and then you get to use this. That's it. Everything you see here is the ones I've already done. I'm literally looking at one of the important clues that I've already done. And it doesn't glow. Don't you hear whispers in some places? In the water, yeah. But you keep saying not to go in the water. Plus, why would there be clues in the water? I'm, I have not once been able to interact with anything in the water in this entire game. Until right now. Amazing. Until right fucking now. What? Uh oh, he's going for it. Don't let him, he's got the cheese touch. Uh, so I don't want her to stay here, right? Cause she dies. I don't care one way or the other, just, it's raining. It's a bad day for rain. 
Cursed water. The water's no good. They've been putting fluoride in it. Mel doesn't need the Riddle Master anymore. Oh, he's making his move. Maybe Riddle Master is gone. Forever. I heard his voice. A ghost, perhaps. A voice in the wind. But Smeagol's here now. So lucky she met Smeagol. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Immediately going for a toe suckle? We can describe gardens to her. Jesus. Gardens with flowers and looked up into the sky. Oh, he's having a real big fla no, no, real big flashback. No. Nothing, nothing. You are mad. He tried to. Oh. oh man, she really fucking zoomed out of there. I don't even understand why that was the straw that broke the camel's back for Mel. He's he's actually been this way the entire time. Mel. What? I don't know why that scared her so much. It's gone. Uh oh, now he's battling with a big revelation. Please just be chapter nine. Thank you. Okay, we're making good pro good progress. No, I just wanna be done. I just wanna be done. No voices. I just wanna be done with it. I'm about to have my own little fucking golem episode here in a second. Trying to convince me to just stop playing. I just wanna I just wanna be done. Children love to take my light stones up to the gardens to play. Would you not help me find them? No. You look like shining marble. No. Because your eyes. No. Still I am not your goddamn errand boy, please. Words. Don't make me do it. That's that's cruel and unusual. Oh no. Oh no. Just 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 don't. To us, you know. Like friends. Friends trust each other. <laughs> yes. Friends do not. We must know what he asked. Let's just lie. Let's just lie. Let's just lie. If you're not comfortable with it. Oh, actually, no, even better. The truth. That'll save us so many problems. She Here. About her birthday. Go. Your birthday. Just that you help her with her lanterns. That's very thoughtful of you. You know. Why does she just keep staring at this guy? In the King's Garden. Are they f falling in love? I had to shoot them from the old tower. Why aren't you looking at Smeagol? You are talking to him. What is happening? You know. Because our feasts are not for strangers, and because your breath would gag our singers. That's just two of the many reasons why you're not invited. Keep what ha- down. This is a We were list. just- you were just pretending to be my friend, and now you're calling me stinky. And laying out why I'm not invited to anything with you guys. What- Brother- You can't even keep up the facade for a minute? Watch out, he threw a grenade! A truth grenade! The King's Grove. Our feast will be there tonight. I could take you there if you promised to behave. Then again, you always end up disappointing me. What? What are you- What are you talking about? If you can do All I do is your fucking chores. I just got you two of your stupid fucking lights. How- How do I only disappoint you? I have only talked to you like three times. And have done three different chores for you, all of which I have done to perfection. Jesus Christ. What is happening? All this just to look at the moon a little better? Oh no! We brought the orcs to the peaceful elves. That guy's so afraid he's hitting a some kind of like Irish river dance or something down there. Man's getting him with the jerk. No! He he fucking boogied too hard. Damn it! Sometimes wall running and wall climbing just decide not to work. Distract them. Drop your weapon, all right? Let's talk this out. None of these people have been nice to me. Which what? one of them? What? 
<laughs> nice. We helped with a murder. Hey, you're welcome. Oh, you two are nothing but fucking mean to me. What am I trying to make here? I'm trying to make a deer? That doesn't look like any feet. Yes. Stay close to me and cover your eyes. Thanks to Tier 1 Joey and the Prime Kermit and the Resub Dirty Wolf Mary and Tier 1 Finest and the Resub Eggnog and Majesty. Solar Flare, no! Bested yet again. They heard the words though, they can just go up and say it, right? Stay away from me. Spiegel never meant to hurt her. Mel must believe me. Stay back. What You you didn't have to take me in here, you know. Why are you acting like this? What? If you're afraid of me, why did you grab my hand and pull me in? You could have actually just left me out there and came in by yourself then. If you want to be so stubborn. This doesn't make any sense. The only reason I am here is because you dragged me in here. Now you're trying trying to like shoo me away like a dog. Is it lost? I had an open door prompt, but the door is already open. Even the game was confused. Mel. It blinded me. Just immediately whining? Come on now. It's been so many years. This is gonna be a love triangle situation. That'd be so hype. They changed. They didn't change you. you guys hold my hands and lift me up. I do. Smeagol? I'm sorry, I was listening for Gwendolyn's voice. What's wrong? wrong? Don't trust him! He posted cringe on Reddit once. Trust the Leave with me instead. Don't be scared of him. He's my friend. You can trust him. Good luck, luck. Oh, damn it. Well, she did say friend. That bodes well. <laughs> Gwendol, no! Like what's happened? Yeah, I tried to take the stairs. And she said Coopers. Exactly. Uh. I can't move it. What? What is that answer? I tried to take the stairs. There are no stairs, exactly. So how did you hurt your leg? Be alone again, will he? No, never. I wish the Riddle Master was dead. That's so cute. Nice. We could also just be friends with the Riddle Master too, and then we'll have all uh, like two friends. Cause he doesn't seem romantically interested in Mel, I don't think. He keeps using her like a like a mom figure to like protect him. So why not have like two parents here? Gwendol, I solved everything, but I'm going to have to throttle you. How did he not see Gwendol? Oh, he's going to alert the orc with the rock. And have Gwyndal executed. Scared little orc. Hmm? But this is our riddle master. Oh. Damn. So far, like, these are the only choices that make any level of difference. I wonder which will be the more entertaining outcome if I kill the orc. And get cucked. Or kill the elf and get friend zoned. Let's see what the cuck ending looks like. Nice. We came out on top. Wait.
Mel! I did it! Oh, who's this? No fucking way, they just killed the daughter off screen? What the fuck? She was like an important character. Throughout like the entire six hours in the Mordor. And now, she's just here dead. Somehow. I guess. Maybe a pot fell on her, I don't- I don't really know. Why? Wow. They couldn't even be bothered? She was like, the major antagonist for the first like... However many hours in Mordor. Shocking. That's shocking. Uh, oh! Mel's using levitation magic. Destroy it. Destroy it. Only one question left to answer. No more riddles. The answer is time. Where does the sun go up? Where does he linger? What does a storm illume with glistening rays? Oh my god, it's a battle of riddles. The night. What is happening? <laughs> what? Why doesn't he just kill her? <laughs> Take this! That's so big. I, so what is this? What am I doing? I'm just stabbing this giant golden snitch or something, and this stops Sauron for for some reason. Very well. Okay. I'm calm now. See, I have no bolts left. Liar! It wasn't your fault. I was angry. Let us talk. Okay. Well, if you apologize, that's all that matters. But I've got one last brain-busting riddle for you. What's lighter than a feather? Yet the strongest man in the world can't hold it for very long. Your breath, yeah! Throttle him. Jesus Christ, call him. Just fucking throttle him. No! My bird! Oh, my bird saved me! Thanks, bird. Yeah! We're doing it! Oh, we don't even get the satisfaction of seeing it. <laughs> Alright, we don't feel like animating it. Just do some shadows. Call it a day. That was epic. That was huge. Now give him a wet willy. Make sure he's really dead. Hey, Mel. It's me, Gwyndol. You can tell by the way my lips feel. Uh-oh. What? I don't under- I don't- I actually just don't- don't get it. What would even be the thought process? The whole reason we even did this was for their protection. To- to help us. Killing them would serve no purpose. Oh, okay, we decided against it. What a game. What an experience. What an experience. Oh my god, it's still good. This is actually like the 20th ending cutscene in a row. What is going on? Man, that feels good to be done with.